Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you, Jonathan? Fine. How have you been? Yeah, yeah. Work. just working. Ah, cool. That's great. Do you have a, a good day today, Jonathan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah really? Have you? Uh-huh. Se facturó bastante. Se no le escucha muy bien. Como se diría, se facturó bastante. O se vendió bastante. Se vendió bastante. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vendió o facturó. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, right. yeah. Uh, we sold a lot. We sold a lot. Ah, really? So, so the, sales, the sales were, were good today? Las ventas yeah. fueron buenas? Really? Yeah. Ah, really. Yeah. I mean, uh, the motorcycle uh, industry is growing up a lot. A lot. A lot. In, in the country, because by the place where I live in here, it was like five or six years ago, people used, used to have only bicycles. Now, most of the people, they got a uh, motorcycle. <laughs> much, much. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. But you know what? <laughs> you know what is the disadvantage in some cases? is that people uh, like, like that, they don't, uh, uh, they got, they buy the motorcycle, but they don't have the driver's license, the motorcycle license. So, <laughs> yes. So when they, are, when they are on the street and they are, are caught by the police, <laughs> they take, the police take the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, like what I did is like, I first took uh, the driver's license. I, I went to the BMT to take the driver's, uh, the, the motorcycle's license. And then I bought uh, the motorcycle. Yeah, And you know what? Uh, since I bought it, desde que la compré, it was in, on December 2019, December del 2019. Uh, la policía o los en retenes solo me han parado una vez just one time and that's it, y eso es todo no sé, y estoy seguro que si no hubiese licencia for real ya hasta quizás me la, yo, hubiera, me la hubiesen decomisado <risa> yo, cuando, yo cuando saqué licencia no, hombre, sabes que me siempre que cuando cuatro <risa> yes, I, I was I sí, was, bueno, me han parado mucho I was Ajá. Ah, okay. That was a long time ago. Yeah, and I was like, mm, no, 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 for real. No. I had to take the driver's, uh, the motorcycle's license. And now that I got it, I don't use it that much. No la uso mucho, pues. Uno, porque el trabajo está un poco lejos. Y dos, porque he tenido dos accidentes. For real. Acá en esta zona, más que todo la gente como que solo acelerada anda y... Yes. Y ya quedé medio, ya quedé medio lesionado de, les, de la espalda. So, probably the next time I will be hit and, and nah, nah. I don't want to end up in the hospital. <laughs> yes. No, but... but but it's very nice to ride a motorcycle and it's very economic. Sí, because I take about one hour to get to my other work. Casi una hora de camino, like to my work. And um, on car, weekly, I spend like, what? Weekly, I'm spending like $30 on gasoline. Thirty dollars, and in motors in the motorcycle, I just spend like like ten dollars. 
That's a big so, difference. You could do it all there. No problem. Yeah, that's a big difference. No, now, in my case, in my case, I do it with ten dollars. Now that the gasoline is expensive. Mm. Yeah, just with ten dollars and the tank is full, completely full. Yeah, but it's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right. So good evening, everybody. Why do why do you people got your cameras off? Okay, I, I, with the exception of Eric because he's he's just not home yet. But turn on your cameras, people. I want to see you. Ah, Salvador is there. Hey, Salvador, how are you? Him, terminándome con mi lanona. Hey, but you look you look relaxed today, Salvador. Nah. No, you're not. Not yet. No, nah, todo el fin de semana estresado. Yes, I can tell. That was stressing. Sí. Ah, sorry. Man. Pero ya, ya a diferencia sí un poquito menos, vea, pero, pero sí cansado. Nah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. That's 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 good. All right. So who else is there? Ah, Fatima is there. Hi, Fatima. Fatima está así como... Hi, teacher. Viendo en todos lados. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> no, actually, good evening. It's, it's night already. <laughs> uh, good evening. Sí, es cierto. Yes, it's night already. Okay. Uh, but what happened to the rest? Rosa del Carmen, Dayana, we got Carla. Okay. Ah, and Nubia is coming. Hi, Rosa. Hi, teacher. How are you, Rosa? I'm fine. Good. Now you look with more energy, Rosa. You oh? look like you look like with more energy today. So so. So so. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Yeah, like the one that looks like like pretty pretty sad is uh, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. What happened? Hi, teacher. You look tired, Stephanie. You look tired, like, like, <laughs> yeah, nah. it was a long day. Okay. Yes. Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry to hear that. Yes. Yes. Nah, that's, sometimes it's like kind of a stressing. Mm -hmm. Like today, my day was like super stressing. I got home at 7.45, just imagine. I just had a 15 minutes break and then I started this class. <laughs> yeah, but life is like that. I really stressing. Yeah, okay, but let's start the class. It's 10, uh, 10, 8.09. So I think you got enough, you got enough people to start. So let's start with the attendance list. We have a very interesting topic for today. Ahora tenemos un tema bastante interesante. Bueno, sencillo además. All right. We're going to be like uh, working with simple past statements and uh, just no questions in simple past. So that's a topic that you already know. So I am not going to stop that much explaining a structure. But I mean, just just. Just for you to remember, I will show the structure and then we are going to do some practices. But I'm going to start with the attendance list. Ana Claribel is not here, right? Ana Maria. No, okay, no here. Diana Gabriela. Present. <laughs> okay. Ah, you, where are you? ¿A qué hora desapareció Diana que no la vi que se conecta? Sí, eso vi, teacher, ah. que me ignoró. No, lo que pasa es que tenía la cámara apagada y yo dije, por favor, enciendan las cámaras que no los veo. No sé si están uh -huh. ahí, si no están ahí. Yes. Pero sí, aquí estaba. Ah, ok, good, good. All right. Uh, Eric Guillermo. Yeah, Present Eric. teacher. Ah, okay, Eric. 
Ahí, ahí voy en el camino y ahí llegando. Ah, pues cuidado, cuidado. Sí. Que, okay. que ponga la cámara, ahí lo vieron viendo, tomando este día. Ah, Eric, ya le echaron de cabeza. Mentira, eh, permita. Lo mismo de boca, por favor. No es mentira, ficha. Eso es paja. Eso es paja. Pura Hombre, ya voy llegando. Dos minutos y me conecto. Ok, no problem. Ever de Jesús. Present and good evening. And good evening, Ever. Yeah, Ever. Ever looks with more energy today. Like, do you have a good day, Ever? Always. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, the attitude. Survive, so, surviving. <laughs> surviving in, into the jungle. <laughs> All right, Ever. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Ah, okay, good. Flor Idalia. Hmm. No, she's not here. Helmar Cruz. Hey, Helmar got late today. Hmm. Jonathan Alexander. I guess you said present. Ah, yeah, yeah. You got present today, I guess. Uh, Carla Benazir. Present teacher. No, okay, good. Natalie Vanessa, she's getting late. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, good. Romeo Alexis, nah, Romeo's not here yet. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Nah, okay, thank you. Roxana Yesenia, Roxana is not there yet, okay. Salvador Alfonso. All right, good. Sara Carolina. Okay, Sara is not there. Uh, Stephanie Lisette. Okay, not there yet. William Alberto. Hmm, no here. Uh, Joanny Noemi. Ah, jo I think Joanny was the one that, 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 that had the shot today. No sé quién me escribió y dijo que, que le habían puesto la vacuna y se sentía mal. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, but it's not Joanny. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present. Yeah, okay. Very good. All right, people. We're going to start with something kind of interesting today. As I told you, we are going to have a very, not different, but easy topic. And let me let me share the presentation for this class. Teacher, yes. Ay, no, no me mencionó. Hoy había entrado tarde. Yeah. Ah, Sara, sí. Justo la había mencionado un par de segundos antes. Permítame, ya le pongo asistencia. Okay, gracias. Okay, Sara Carolina. There you go. Now you got it. Okay. Give me a second. Ah, William is here. Hi, William. Present. Okay, William. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the attendance. Next. Give me a second. There you go. Ahí estamos ya. Just give me one second. It is going to rain. Mm, that's not good. Now, okay. I'm going to share the presentation. Please let me know if you see the, the, the presentation. Confirmenme si pueden ver la presentación, por favor. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, today's topic is going to be, I mean, simple past statements and just no questions. As I told you, this is a very easy topic because we were practicing this structure in the past modules, if you remember. Eh, si recuerdan, estuvimos practicando estas estructuras en los módulos pasados. So that's why I think it won't be like difficult for us. So remember, this is the video conference eight, and that's the topic. All right, remember uh, in the development of uh, the topic and the explanation, 
If you have questions, let me know. Recuerden, eh, mientras está explicando, si hay algo que no haya quedado claro, just let me know, ¿ok? Háganmelo saber para que todo vaya quedando absolutamente claro. All right? Let's start. And what are we going to start off? As always, we're going to start with the class agenda. And what is the first thing that we're going to have? Stephanie, read. Um, review from previous class. There you go. Review from previous class. Stephanie, choose one of your classmates right now. Choose, choose one of your classmates. Um, Coja uno de sus compañeros. Uh -huh. Veamos. Eric. <laughs> nah, okay. Eric. Ah, no, Eric, not yet, because Eric is, is, is going home right now. Eric, ah, yes, yes, yes. Vamos a ver, mm, Jonathan. All right, Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Ah, oh, yeah, Jonathan is there. Jonathan, what was the topic from last class? Let's just start up with, uh, with that. Industry vocabulary. Nah. No, okay. All right. Let's <laughs> put a bit. Okay, okay. Choose any other of your classmates to, to help you up. Give me the name of one of your classmates. Otro nombre. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Eh, uh, Nubia. Nubia. Hi, Nubia. All right, Nubia. Ayudemos a Jonathan, Nubia. What was the topic from last class? And what were we doing last class? Um, last class. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Go on. It's a question, question and answer. Questions and answers. About the, about the uh, vocabulary of the uh, industry. That was, the, that, was, that was the topic from last class? I, but I don't remember. <laughs> that's that's that, that is called Monday mood. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh who else? Diana. Diana will tell us. Thank you, Nubia. Diana, what was the topic from last class? Or what were we doing last class? <laughs> Teacher, no le entendí mucho. Okay. Teacher, the question uh, with W H questions. W H questions? What? Where? Who? Okay. No. What? Where? Okay. All right. Something like that. No. Thank you. Yeah, that was. That was, that was the structure of the questions. Very good. Diana, tell me, what was the topic from last class? El tema de la clase pasada. Exactly. Do you remember the topic? Estuvimos repasando una conversación, me acuerdo. Ajá, ajá. But, the, but, but related to what? ¿Cuál era la estructura? ¿En relación a qué estructura? ¿Era pasado, presente, futuro, past, present, future? ¿Cuál was la estructura? Simple present, creo. Simple present? No. Yes. Ok. All right. 
Yeah, remember the topic was simple present information questions. Okay, and we were practicing questions the most with what and where. All right, ever give me an example of uh, a question using what or using where is up to you. Uh, where you work? Repeat the question. Where do you work? Okay, very good. Like, where do you work? And what is the type of answer to that question, Carla? Um, uh, I work to Sojapango. I work? I work to Sojapango. I work in Soyapango. In, yes. <laughs> Yes, because, <laughs> yeah, because two is like mostly with verse with go, walk, or run. Okay. Yes. Remember. Okay, very good, Carla. All right. Thank and, you. All right. Thank you, Carla. And thank you ever. Now, Fatima, give me an example question using per person. Where she okay uh, where does she, okay uh, uh, is Sam, uh, where does where the where does she sends emails okay remember the structure i'm gonna write the structure over here look the structure remember is subject class what is it it's like that or no? It's does. Ah, okay, very good. So in that case, but before before that, before that is WH word plus do do if it is singular, I mean plural or first person. Does does if it is third person. Well, so you main verb it's like that or do we need something before the... so, it's ah, very good subject plus like this in verb like this verb in in base form exactly base form uh-huh plus plus complement okay very good remember that the complement plus it's optional. <laughs> uh -huh. Complement. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to write a point. Plus the question mark, right? Like this. Remember that the complement is optional. Okay. Now, Fatima, based on this structure. Excuse me, teacher. Give me your question. Yes. Uh, okay, Helma. Tell me. Ah, yeah, I mean, ah, se va conectando, Hilmar. <laughs> okay, no problem, Hilmar. Right now we are uh, doing a feedback from the previous class, okay? That's yes. what we are doing. Sí, sí. All right, no problem. Ah, Eric is connected already. Sí, teacher, eso le quería decir. <laughs> que ya, ya estoy por aquí. Este, right. aunque, aunque me estaban tirando de cabeza bien rápido y sin haber llegado. Stephanie, ya le vi las... Las negras <risa> intenciones, va. Le escuché más bien dicho. Uy. Pero ya estamos aquí. <risa> Eso me suena a venganza para futuras uh, participaciones. Ah, buena recomendación, teacher. No, teacher. <risa> ah, no, no, yo lo dije por la forma en cómo él lo está diciendo. <risa> okay. Pero no, verdad, Eric. <risa> no, Eric is a good person, and that's why he is going to make you participate. <laughs> okay, Fatima, give me your question. Sería, where does she sends mail? Okay, let me let me let me write it down in here and tell me if it is correct. Where does, does she uh -huh. sends send email? 
Like no, creo que hay el... Ajá. Yes. What happened? El verbo, el verbo, no sé si es en, nada más, sin la S. Ah, but what do you think? Like this or with no S? Or with no S? With no S. Like this? Yes. Ah, why? Because y ya está el, el auxiliar. Ah, very good. The action, the auxiliar is the one that is doing the action of the third person. Very good, Fatima. Very good. All right. Uh, Eric, give me the answer to this question. Where she does send, she uh -huh. send email every day? Sends. With S? Like yes. this? Huh. Are you sure, Eric? Are you completely sure about this mm. question? Con la, con, no, le tengo que quitarle la S. No, nah, why? Porque ya está en... Remember, Porque... remember uh -huh. that we don't have the auxiliary verb. And when you don't have the auxiliary verb, you need to modify the main verb. So what happened there? Sends or send, Eric? Sends or send? There is one. Uh, hay algo por lo cual le digo que todavía está un tanto um, errónea la respuesta. There is something, hay algo ahí, hay algo que usted tiene que remover y tiene que agregar algo más. O simplemente no remover, sino colocar esa parte al final. La S en D. La S. Uh, every day, no. Es que para mí es, es sí es sense, teacher. Ajá, Send ok. Y, Ajá. Ajá. She sends email every day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, George. Yeah, tell me, John. She sends email to other companies. Ajá, very good, Jonathan. Very good, thank you. Eric, lo que faltaba ahí... Era un destinatario, un lugar. Ah, Remember, sí. la pregunta es con where. ¿Hay ¿Qué es lo que importa ahí? El lugar, el destinatario, a dónde va a ir esos emails. Ok. Ok, teacher. That's why. Thank you. All right. So you see, you might say uh, to other com companies. I will go to company. You see, she sends email to other companies every day, or it depends on your answer. But remember, in that case, you have to write a location, okay? A location, there you go. So that's pretty much what were we discussing last class, okay? That's why we, we discussed last class. Okay, good. Now, stay with this. Let's move uh, to the topic for tonight. I'm gonna eliminate this. And uh, let's continue. So the next point in the agenda is going to be the simple past statements. Uh, es a lo que vamos a pasar en estos momentos. Eh, los usos, cuando utilizar Oraciones afirmativas utilizando eh, el pasado simple. As I told you, with something easy for you because we discussed this in the past. Then, uh, like, we got just no questions. So, answers. 
Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we're gonna do some exercises, all right? Just just to complement them, and and just to see, and just to practice. And then we're going to work in the manual, right? In the manual. Who's on the way home? Okay, Mister. All right, let's keep going. Simple past statements. Let's start up with this. When do we use simple past? Ah, we use simple past in this. Uh, Rosa, help me out reading, please. We Sorry. Simple pasta. Sorry, Rosa. <laughs> no la dejé comer, no me fui a que estaba comiendo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we use a simple past to talk about past events. Ah, uh, events. Thank you, Rosa. Yeah, in that case, this is a short, very short definition about what is simple past. Remember, simple past is used to talk about past events something that started in the past and finished in the past and now it doesn't have any relevance in the present okay that is when we use the simple past cuando usamos el pasado simple para hablar sobre actividades que se iniciaron y terminaron en el pasado okay y que pues ya no tiene ningún tipo de acción o relevancia in el presente. Example, I ate yesterday. Ah, comí ayer. That was an action I did yesterday, right? And I'm not gonna bring that same action like today. I got a, a, a series of examples in here. So we got some examples. Sara, read this example for me, please. Um, Juan worked yesterday. Okay, listen up. And I'm going to say this in Spanish for you to understand better. Eh, la pronunciación de este verbo, en este caso, y, y va para todos, no es worked, así como se lee. La pronunciación al final es con una T. Worked. Okay, worked. Okay. All right, Sara, repeat, repeat the sentence. Sara? Juan works yesterday. Yeah, very good, Sara. Thank you. Yes, in this case, eso es, digamos, en lo que vamos a prestar atención un poco a los verbos, ir, eh, en los verbos regulares. Generalmente son los que les agregamos ed al final para formar el pasado. Generalmente hay, hay muchos que la pronunciación cambia. Ok. That, that it changes completely. Like in this case, Si ven, termina en ed, pero en pronunciación termina en t. Worked. All right. ¿Cómo diferenciar el pasado simple del presente? El presente termina en k, la pronunciación. In like in, with the letter k. Work. All right. Work. And in simple past is worked. With t. Worked. All right. Another difference is, otra diferencia es, Que en oraciones con el pasado usamos time expressions in the past. Expresiones de tiempo en pasado. And which ones are those? Yesterday, last week, last month, last weekend, okay? Last year, el año pasado. You see, I mean, those, those help us to create, okay, sentences in simple past. All right, we got another example. Uh, Salvador, read this example for me, please. Helena traveled to Guatemala last week. All right, thank you. Yes, in this case, listen, this word, this verb traveled, esta, la pronunciación de este verbo, igual, no se pronuncia traveled, all right? 
al final solamente se pronuncia la B, no se pronuncia la E. Entonces es traveled, with D at the end, traveled. Solo se escucha el sonido de la L y de la D, traveled. Ok, that is the pronunciation of it. So let's see, I want to listen the pronunciation of this type of verbs, like with you. Mrs. Rutia, can you repeat the word, please? I want to, to listen. How do you pronounce it? ¿Cuál? El travel? Solo, sí, solamente el verbo, en pasado. Uh, travel. With B. <laughs> listen, traveled. Travel. Ah, okay, all right. Ah, let's see somebody else. Someone that is not looking at the camera. Hmm. Rosana, are you there? Rosana, are you there? Okay, she's not there. Hilmar? Here you go. <laughs> okay, Hilmar, read the verb. Please, I want to listen the pronunciation from you. Travel. All right, repeat again. Traveled. Traveled. Ah, okay, very good. Remember, entonces, el verbo travel, al final es con una D, la pronunciación en pasado, okay? Traveled. Y en Travel. presente, en presente, termina en L. Travel, right? Oh. Yeah, in simple present, with no ED. Okay, we got another example. And uh, William, help me out reading this example. Uh, Christina sent emails to her bus last night. Okay, thank you, William. So in yeah. this case, it's different. Why is different? Because the verb is changing completely from simple present to simple past. Acá ya es completamente diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque acá este verbo ya no es un verbo regular que solamente le agregamos ed. What happening here? Este es un verbo irregular. ¿Cuándo usamos los irregulares? Generalmente usamos los irregulares o decimos que un verbo es irregular cuando cambia completamente su estructura. Ok, que la estructura del presente no es la misma con la estructura del pasado. All right, it changes in a somehow. Ok, what is the, the simple present form of the present? Ah, en este caso, cambiamos nada más una letra. Una letra es la diferencia entre el pasado y el presente de este verbo. What is the, what is the simple present form of this verb? Send. send. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Send. You see? Send, simple present. Send, simple past. This is completely different. Aquí sí ya, ya es un tanto diferente. Ok. Ya la estructura ya no se le agrega ed al verbo. All right. Uh, today, ahora vamos a ver un, un par de verbos regulares y un par irregular. Just for you to get to know. Eh, ah, por cierto, igual, eh, la lista que les envié en PDF al grupo es así, es una lista completa de irregulares. ¿Ok? Esa es la lista más completa que puede haber de verbos irregulares. ¿Por qué? Porque los verbos irregulares son men menos que los verbos regulares. Estamos hablando que los verbos regulares hay más de 5000. Mucho más. Pero los irregulares no pasan de 500. All right? That's why I'm telling you. ¿Por qué? Porque son un tanto más complicados. Just for you to have an idea. Okay, uh, let's continue with this. Uh, do you, uh, right up to now, do you have any question? Hasta acá, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Uh, related to these examples, en relación a los ejemplos, porque luego vamos a pasar a la estructura. I don't know if you have any question. Nope. Okay. Good. 
let's continue. All right, the structure. Now this is like something completely different. So what do we need for the structure of uh, um, positive statements in simple past? Check this out. We need a subject, okay, plus, plus main verb in past, okay? The main verb in past, when, más la forma del verbo en pasado. And what does the ED mean? ya sea verbo regular o irregular, generalmente a los verbos regulares se les coloca ED, ¿ok? Just ED, to, the, to most of regular verbs, ¿ok? Las únicas excepciones o el único pequeño cambio que se puede hacer son en aquellos verbos que terminan en Y, pero antes de la Y va una consonante. Ahí no se les coloca simplemente ED, se les coloca IED. Ok, IED, but I'm going to explain that later on. All right, so you can use uh, whether regular or irregular verbs, plus complement. Ok, so we got uh, these examples. All right, uh, Roxana, can you please read this example? Rosana, are you there? Hello. Okay, I think she's not there. Carla, help me out, please. Okay, sure. She um, enjoyed. And enjoyed the trip. Okay, thank you, Carla. Yes, the bird enjoyed. Solo mm -hmm. se pronuncia la D al final. Enjoyed. Yes. Enjoyed. She enjoyed the trip. What happening here? Listen. Porque les mencionaba que los verbos o, o esta estructura del pasado it's easier than simple present porque es más fácil crear oraciones que en el presente simple. Remember, in simple present you have to be careful uh, uh, by adding the S, I, E, S, or E, S to the verbs, interperson. In here, we don't worry about that. We can use he, we can use she with the same verb, and it's not going to change. La estructura va a permanecer lo mismo, no importa si sea primera, segunda, o tercera persona, okay? We are going to have the verb in simple past, and that's it. Significa que acá el verbo no se va a modificar solo porque es singular, ¿ok? O porque es plural. Uh, the verb doesn't suffer that change. That's, that's one of, uh, uh, of the good things about this, this type of uh, structures. All right, uh, let's see who can help me out with this. Ever, help me out, please. He called up to the other branches. Okay, it, this is likely similar, uh, ever. Called. With Cold. Yes. Que la pronunciación de este verbo al final simplemente es con una D. No se pronuncia la E. Cold. Repeat. Cold. Very good. Yeah. He called to the other branches. Okay. Very good. So we got the verb in simple past. Uh, do we have another one that Diana write this one please hey why do people are you like putting the cameras off Diana are you there hello yes teacher. okay read the example please they play Nah, okay. Thank you, Diana. They played in the stadium. Okay. 
They played. Okay. They played in the stadium. Very good. Thank you. Yes, in this case, the verb play, we just got the same, uh, the D pronunciation at the end, play. And we make it simple past, okay? That's the way we got the simple past one. All right. I don't know if you're copying this information. No sé si están tomando nota de esta información o puedo pasar. Can I move on? Don't teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. So let's continue. Okay, now uh, I, I got in here some verbs that we can practice, all right? The simple past form. Check this out. Regular verbs using ED, okay? Generalmente recordemos a los verbos regulares, simplemente les colocamos ED. All right, remember. We got the verb in here, enjoy. That's the pronunciation in simple present. Enjoy. Travel. Okay. Travel. I got work. Work. We got update. Update. I got attend, attend, and we got learn, learn. Those ones are uh, regular. Now I got I got uh, a few, but but irregulars. We got eat. This is like the one that we have been practicing the most. Ese es el que más hemos estado practicando. Supongo que ya lo conocemos en versión pasada. Eat. Meat. Listen up. Meat. And then we got send. Right? Send. I think those are like the ones. Yes. Just, just to work with the examples, that's, that's, that's like, like, like the one that we need. Okay. That's the one that we need. All right, uh, what are we going to do with this? Well, what do I really want with this? Listen, what do I want with this information is for you, okay? In there, in your notebooks, I want you to make the simple past form of these verbs in simple present. Quiero que coloquen la forma pasada en su cuaderno de estos verbos, recordando, que los verbos regulares simplemente les agregamos ed donde lo necesiten. Y todo verbo regular que termine en e, simplemente agregamos d, ¿ok? Nada más. Let's complete it. Y si conocemos la forma pasada de los irregulares, let's do it. If you don't know it, let me know, please. As soon as you finish, just let me know. All right, just, just let me know. All right, let me know when you finish. Teacher, vamos a hacer uno de cada uno, dijo, vea. Eh? Ah, por ahora simplemente quiero que hagan la forma pasada de cada uno de esos verbos, ¿ok? Ah. Luego vamos a hacer, a, a hacer las oraciones. Yes. 
Luego, <laughs> luego yo le dije. Okay. Ah, really? You were doing the, the sentences? <laughs> no problem. Ya la va a necesitar. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's keep going. Did you finish, people? Don't teach. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Ana Maria, are you there? Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nubia. Ah, no se quería dejar ver. Entrando calladita para que no la descubriera. Y la acabo de ver. <laughs> Hi, Ana Maria. It's good to see you. Gracias, teacher. Ando dolor de cabeza. Ah, really? Migraine? Mm -hmm. I was like that. Así estuve hace rato, pero ando bien, Se le quitó. bien empastillado. <laughs> y el, yes. pues, eh, sí, a mí. Hey, you, know ay, tomar... you know what? The, 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 the bad part, or well, I don't know how to say that, is that when I was coming home, I was okay. I didn't have a mistake. As, as soon as I get home, when I was opening the door, I started with the headache. <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah. It's matter. Yeah. Y para poder ver la pantalla. Sí. sí. Eso es lo que molesta, la claridad. Hoy tengo bien bajito el brillo de, de, Ajá, yeah. de la pantalla. Yeah, from the screen. Yeah. Vaya, teacher, no entendí eso. Regular verbs eh, llevan ED. ¿Qué yes. teníamos que hacer? Simplemente colocarlos en pasado, por ahora. Mm -hmm. En pasado. Yes, simple part. Ok. I think I think most of you got already. I uh, have already finished with that. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. What are we gonna do right now? Let's let's check. Let's check that. Sure. Yes. I finished, but and and the ultimas the irregular verb verb. No, I no sé. Okay, no problem. Ya las vamos a revisar a ver si las tienen correctas. Okay. Okay. All right, no problem. Okay, remember, these ones are regular ones, regular verbs. ¿Y qué hacemos con los verbos regulares? La mayoría de ellos agregamos ed. ed. We got the verb enjoy. So, enjoyed. That's the past form with ed. We got the verb travel. Ed too. Traveled. That is the way how we do it. We got work. We got ED. Worked. Este es el verbo. Ya es que con T al final en pasado. Okay. Worked. That is completely different. Okay. In comparison to the other ones. Y aquí es más diferente. Uh, then we got update. What is update? Update. Actualizar. Actualizar. Exactly. All right. Actualizar. So we got ed at the end. Oh, in this case, D. just d. ¿Por qué solo d? Porque como ya tenemos, el, es un verbo que termina en e. Solo agregamos d. Updated. Okay. In this case. El verbo, la T se convierte en R, en pronunciación. Updated. Listen up. Updated. Okay. That is the past form. Updated. All right. In here. Attend. All right. Attended. Learned with ED. Learned, okay, and we got eat. These ones are irregular. Remember, in this one we change. What is the past form of eat? Eight. Very good. Eight. 
eight. Very good. And what is the past form of meat? Met. Met. Uh, what do we do? Look. Solamente eliminamos una E y ya lo tenemos en pasado. Meet, simple present. Met, simple past. Yes. Okay? That is the only difference. And then we got send. ¿Qué decíamos que hacemos acá con este verbo? Le poníamos T. Send. Exactly. Removemos la D y colocamos T. Sí. Sent. You see? That's the way how we do it in, in simple past. All right, that is the simple past form of each one of them. Okay, what are we going to do like right now? Listen up. Ahora que ya tenemos las formas pasadas, okay, y ya conocemos todos esos verbos, they're like pretty easy for you. What are we going to do? No olviden este verbo, okay? Don't forget this verb. Uh, I'm going to start with Nubia. Use the verb learn. Ana Maria. Use the verb attend. Okay. Uh, Carla. Use the verb eat. Uh, let's see. Mrs. Urrutia. Use the verb enjoy. William. Use the verb update. Okay. Uh, ever, I don't know if I mentioned ever, no, right? Use the verb uh, send. Mrs. Janet, use the verb meet. Salvador, use the verb enjoy. Sara, the verb work. All right, Hilmar, the verb travel. All right, uh, Fatima, use the verb attend again, attend. Uh, let's see, Roxana, are you there? Mm. <laughs> Roxana? Hello. Okay, uh, you're going to be working with the verb eat, Roxana. Con el verbo eat. Eric, with the verb update. Okay, what a, okay, ¿quién me falta? ¿A quién no he mencionado? Porque se me movieron todas las cuales. Ah, uh, Jonathan. Use the verb, uh, let's see, travel. And Diana. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Diana, use the verb meet. Rosa, use the verb send. What do I really want with this? What do I really want? Con ese verbo que les he dado, quiero que me hagan una oración en pasado simple, afirmativa. ¿Ok? Puede ser en primera o tercera persona. It doesn't matter for me. The idea is for you to create one example sentence using that verb. Quiero que usemos ese, 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 ese verbo para, usar, para crear una oración en pasado simple. No importa si es tercera o primera persona. Ana García, are you there? Okay. No, okay. Okay. Ah, no, le preguntaba si ahí estaba. Es que tenía la cámara ah, okay. apagada. Okay, Ana Maria, use the verb uh, enjoy. Ah, okay. There you go. Let me know when you finish. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Rutia. Finish. Ah, okay, very good, Carla. <laughs> I am in. It was you, uh, Mrs. Uh, Stephanie? Ah, lo que yeah. ah, okay. yeah. no, es que vi también el micrófono de Carla activado, por eso es que no. uh -huh. I was different. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's wait for your classmates to finish. Okay, mientras los hacen, voy a eh, dejar de compartir pantalla por un momento y voy a pasar asistencia, okay? Give me a second, please. Mm -hmm. Ana Claribel Ese. 
No, okay, thank you. Ana Maria. Present. All right, very good. Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay, excellent. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Ever de Jesus. Present. Excellent. Fatima Alejandra. Present. All right, very good. Florida Liam. Mm -hmm. I think she's not connected. Mm, Gilmar Cruz. Present. All right, excellent. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right, good. Let's see, Carla Benacer. Present, teacher. Okay, Natalie Vanessa. Hey, Natalie's not here. Mrs. Surrutia, ¿qué le hizo a Natalie? Nada, nada. Ahí la tengo trabajando todavía. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Mentira, no, no sé qué le pasó, ya le voy a escribir. <laughs> ok, ok. Uh, Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Ok. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. All right, Romeo, ¿todavía de camino? Mm. No, ya no, ahorita ya estoy en casa. Ah, eh, eso es lo que está en la actividad ahorita. Se ha ido rato la luz. Ah, ok, ok. All right, Romeo. That's why I consider, por eso lo consideré. And I didn't write a word, uh, I didn't give a word for you. A uh, Rosa del Carmen. Okay. Ok, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, then we got Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay. William Alberto. Present. Okay, perfect. Joanny Noemi. I have Joanne is not here. And uh, the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna see, share the presentation. Yeah, got it here. Okay, I guess everybody finished, right? So let's let's do the examples. Ever read your example, please. Mm. Okay, uh, I sent the quotes on time. I sent the quote on time. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Ever. Ah, uh, Mrs. Janet. Oh my God, don't tell me I got problems with the internet. Okay, so, sorry. Creo que me quedé uh, lagueado ahí. Tenía problemas de internet. Uh, es lo malo de que ayudaba. Uh, Mrs. Janet, read your example. Okay. okay. Uh, Carlos meet last Monday with the bus. Carlos? Meet. Me, no es mi. That's simple present. Um, La oración era en pasado. Simple past. Met. Met. Yes. Y con una uh, E. Ok. Met. Uh -huh. Sí, yo lo puse así, pero yo siempre decía. Ah, <laughs> no, met. Uh, no. Met. Sí, en simple present right. con dos E es meet. Uh -huh. En simple past es met. My yes. Last Monday uh, with the bus. Okay, very good. Okay. O oh, a veces se suele cambiar. O oh, a veces es mejor cambiar. With the bus, last Monday. Recordemos que last Monday viene siendo una time expression. ¿Y qué decíamos de las time expressions? O van al principio de una oración o van siempre al final. Okay. 
All right, but okay. but, but this is still good, Stephanie. Thank you. Nubia, okay. read yours. Okay, teacher. I learned that the Bible is when I was five years old. Okay, very good, Novia. Thank you. Okay. Salvador, read your example. Okay, teacher, the verse is bueno. I enjoyed my vacation in the beach. No, okay, very good. Was that true? Fue cierto eso? Okay, <laughs> sorry, man. Todo es una triste realidad. Sorry, man. <laughs> okay, Salvador. Good one. All right. Al menos los ánimos. Ajá. Sara, read your example. I, I worked on the event yesterday. I worked. I worked, ajá. Uh -huh. On the events yesterday. En la tarde o en la noche. Um, I see. <laughs> ah. uh, in night. Ah, no, no, porque si es no. evening, ah. es tarde evening. noche. Eh, um, lo tiene así, se lo voy a mandar por mensaje, a ver si lo tiene así. La palabra. Uh -huh. like this one? ¿Tiene esa, ¿Tenía esa palabra? Revísela en el chat, por favor. Porque eso es como tarde noche ya. Ajá. Ok. Ah, póngale esa. Póngale esa. In the evening. The evening. Ah, ok. In the evening. Sí, I worked on the event yesterday in the evening. I worked. Ajá, pero. Pero, 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 pero. Cuando dice on the ever, is that a person? Eh, yo trabajé en el evento del ah, de ayer por la noche. Ah, ah, okay. <risa> ah, muy bien. Entonces, entonces, ajá, eh, así es que en la pronunciación. Event, event. Events. Ajá, the event. Ah, entonces, sí, ya para referirnos ahí, para, la, para, para decir... Ayer por la noche es last night. Sencillo. No, porque last night es anoche. Anoche. Ah, okay. Sería, mire, yesterday. Yesterday. Night. Yesterday night. night. La edad. Ayer ah, por okay. la noche. Ayer por la noche. Okay. Like you were. Okay. Good. Thank you, uh, Sara. Helmer, read your example. My mother traveled to Europe last year. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Fatima? <laughs> Fatima looks angry. <laughs> she looks like her. How are you touching? Sophia attend the phone call last Friday. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Roxana, read your example. I am eight yesterday. Quitémosle el am. Ah, okay. I'm eight yesterday. Okay. 18, 6 p.m. Okay, I ate yesterday. Después de yesterday. Si le vamos a colocar una hora, vamos a decir at, 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 y luego la hora, ¿ok? Ah, sería at 6 p.m. Very good. Thank Very you, good. teacher. Ok, Roxana. Eric. Hi, teacher. Um, tengo una, una duda. Ajá, chao. En, en Spanish, mi computadora fue actualizada ayer. Eh, my computer updated, updated yesterday 
or my computer was updated yesterday. Yes, in this case, si lo utilizamos así, viene siendo was pasiva. Mm -hmm. Passive voice. Was updated. Passive. Aunque esa es la manera más, más apropiada de decirla, Eric. Ok. My computer was updated yesterday. De la forma en la que usted la está diciendo, incluso en español. Ok. Eh, si Passive. lo queremos hacer en pasado simple, like using only one verb is. All right. My computer updated the system yesterday. Oh, okay. Ahí sí es diferente. Ok, pero ahí sí, el was eh, viene siendo la forma del verbo to be y el updated ya no estaría en pasado, estaría en pasado participio. Ok, y aquí quedaría en pasado simple. Exactly. Ok, ok, esa es la duda, Ticho. Ah, Thank you. Ok, all right. Good. Rosa. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Good morning. <laughs> no, Raza, I'm kidding. Read your example. Okay. She sent the pack at the new branch. The pack? pack. Sí. Or package. Package. Ah, uh, paquete? Yes, paquete. Ah, package. Yeah, because, yeah, pack is different. All right, Rosa, thank you. Carla. Okay, chair, me corrige, por favor. Okay, go on. Last week, I ate a sandwich in my house. I ate, ate. I ate, fast. I ate, yes. Yeah, yeah because eat is simple phrase. <laughs> Sí. <laughs> me confundo un poquito todavía. All right, bien dijo, me corrige. <laughs> okay, Carla, that was good. Thank you. Uh, Diana. Thank you. Too. Okay. They enjoy the travel to Paris. Mm, okay. Very good. <laughs> to, to Paris. I miss Paris. Uh, <laughs> but now uh, you know the pandemic messed up everything but anyways all right Diana thank you okay all right Ana Maria I I attend to my English class attend all right to my English class late but you attend very good <laughs> right. Jonathan, read your example. I go travel to New York City. Read the, the, the example again, please, because I didn't listen that much. I go travel to New York City. Ah, okay. En este caso, eh, Jonathan, tenemos dos verbos de movimiento. Eh, de esos dos solo vamos a escoger uno. En este caso, eliminemos go. Uh, yes, that's the way. I traveled to the university. Ya, yeah, porque el verbo travel igual indica movimiento. Ir hacia un lugar, ¿ok? Ya no necesitamos el verbo go. Okay. All right, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Urrutia. Read your example. Okay, my example is my son enjoyed to the park last weekend. Enjoyed to the park. Mm -hmm. Okay, enjoyed. Eh, eliminémosle el to, nada más. Okay, entonces my son enjoyed the park last weekend. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Uh, William? Yesterday. 
Uh, she updated, ajá, pero tiene your, ¿cierto? Ajá. Yesterday. Ah, ok, very good, ya. Yeah. Porque en ese caso, como hablamos de una tercera persona y es mujer, ajá, es her. Very good, William. Yep, thank you. Uh, and let's see who's the last one. Ana Garcia. Catherine enjoys ice cream with her brother. With my brother? Eh, con su hermano. Ah, en ese caso ocupamos el mismo... Eh, poses, adjetivo posesivo que, que William usó her brother, como está hablando de una mujer con su uh -huh. hermano, de ella ok, with her brother with her brother, very good yes okay. thank you Ana, ok, who's missing I think everybody has already participated yeah, everybody participated, ok let's move on vamos a avanzar Now, let's watch or let's study the just no questions. <laughs> Rosa, read this for me, please. We generally ask just no questions using the auxiliary, auxiliary verb did last best form of the verb. Ok, base form of the verb. Thank you, Rosa. Ok, what does it mean? Listen up. Si recordamos en el presente simple para crear oraciones y preguntas, oraciones negativas y preguntas, en, ok, en primera persona ocupamos el auxiliar do. En tercera persona sería el auxiliar das, ok. Para, para crear just no questions, to create just no questions. What happening here? ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? Ah, el pasado de do es did. Ok. Y desde ahí, listen up. Desde que tengan, tenemos did en una pregunta, al inicio de una pregunta, significa que esa pregunta va a estar en pasado. Or simple past, as you want to say. Pero, listen up. Ya el verbo en la pregunta no tiene por qué ir en pasado. ¿Ok? El verbo tiene que estar en presente. Why did that happen? ¿Por qué sucede eso? Porque el auxiliar ya está haciendo la función del pasado. Ya no es do, es did. Por eso el verbo ya no necesita estar en pasado. ¿Ok? Cuando nosotros damos nuestra respuesta, ahí sí. Ahí sí se coloca el verbo en pasado. ¿Ok? Generalmente este tipo de respuestas es bastante corto. That's why it is called short answers. Let's, let's, let's question. Take a look at this. Uh, Eric, read this question, please. Sorry, esta tenía mute. <laughs> Did you play soccer? Ah, okay, very good. Did you play soccer? If you take a look in there, we got the auxiliary verb deal plus the subject, que en este caso el subject será el you. Y luego el verbo play es el verbo principal or the main verb. And then soccer is just a complement. All right, uh, Romeo, read the answers, please. Uh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I didn't. 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 Very good, yes, mm -hmm. didn't. Thank you, Romeo. Okay, what happened here? For positive uh, uh, answers, We use yes, I did. Ok. Recordemos que si usamos did en la pregunta, en la, en la, en la respuesta también la vamos, lo vamos a necesitar. Ok. 
¿Cuándo? Es una respuesta corta. Yes, I did. Okay. O if it is negative, we are going to use no, I didn't. Que didn't es una combinación de did plus not. Ok. Remember that. This is just a combination between did plus not. Like this. This is the other way around. Did plus not. Ok. Contracted. Didn't. Let's keep this on mind, okay? All right, let's continue. Ana Teacher. María, yes? Perdón, oh. una consulta. Ajá, eh, ahí dijo usted que era respuesta corta. Uh -huh. Perdón. Y si fuera de respuesta larga, este ah, sería okay. Yes, I did play, play soccer. Ok, no? listen up. Sería de varias maneras. Esa es una, Eric. Listen up. This is like the most common one. Yes, I did. All right. Yes, I did. Coma. I played soccer. Yesterday, you see? Ahí ya sería, ya sería la respuesta de manera larga. All right. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Coma. I played soccer yesterday. That is the okay, way. Teacher. Okay, teacher. Esa sí ya sería la respuesta larga. Sí, yo, yo he entendido mal. Eh, pensé, oh, vaya, pensé que no se... Sé. Ya no incluía el yes I did, sino que eh, solo era yes I played, played soccer yesterday. No se incluía el yes I did. Yeah, generalmente oh, no. se puede hacer. Yes, I played soccer yesterday. Yeah, se puede hacer, no hay ningún problema. Mm -hmm. Ok, and thank it's, you. And it's still correct. Ok. Yes. Aquí igual, aquí sí por, por sí o sí se debe necesitar, ok, eh, para dar una respuesta larga, sí se debe necesitar el didn't. How come? Check this out. No, I didn't play soccer yesterday. O si no mencionamos yesterday en la pregunta, no hay por qué hacerlo en la respuesta negativa. Just like that. No, I didn't play soccer. All right, esta es la respuesta larga de manera negativa. Okay, just for you to get, a, to, get to know. Okay, let's continue. Give me a second, give me a second, what happened? Ah, there you go. Uh, Jonathan, read this question for me, please. Did she attend, attend the meeting? All right. Did she attend the meeting? Thank you. Okay. If you take a look in there, we got the word attend or the verb attend in simple present. Okay. Two ways of answer. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Si ven acá, como les mencionaba. No hay ningún problema en que la pregunta esté en tercera persona. Why? Porque acá no sufre ningún tipo de modificación. El verbo. El verbo es en simple past and that's it. Está en pasado simple y hasta ahí, right? No sufre ningún tipo de cambio como en el presente simple. All right. I don't know if you have any question up to now. Hasta acá, no sé si tenemos alguna pregunta. Something that might not be clear for you. Algo que no esté del todo claro. ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Perdón, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Did, did, uh, 
Ah, ¿Podría repetírmelo, Jonathan? Porque fíjese que casi no la escuché muy bien. No sé si es el audio que se la escucha como con mucho bajo. Ah, ahorita. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la did en negativo? Ah, en negativo. Sería didn't. Didn't. El did plus not together es didn't. All right. Ah, ¿Alguien más eh, me iba a preguntar algo? Quizás Jonathan, además de Jonathan. Teacher. Ok, okay uh, primero Diana y después Elmer. Diana, tell me. Eh, tengo una duda. Eh, con respecto a la pregunta, ¿Did she attend the meeting? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué lleva ING? ¿Por qué no es el verbo meet? Eh, no, ajá, exacto, porque en ese caso, miren, se refiere a reunión, ¿ok? El verbo principal ahí es attend, asistir a la ajá. reunión. So, miren, ¿ok? Eh, eh, ese, 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 ahí no está actuando como un verbo, está actuando como un nombre y significa reunión. Yes, that's why, ¿ok? Ahí está actuando como un nombre esa palabra, ¿all right? Ok. Very good. Cuando ya esté la palabra meeting en la posición donde está attend, ahí sí está actuando como un verbo. Ok. Ok. Pero si ya va al final, ya no es verbo. Thank you. All right. Good. Uh, first, yeah. Hilmar. Primero Hilmar y después usted, Nubia. Ok. All right. Hilmar, what was your question? En la pregunta, bueno, cuando uno pregunta en presente simple, creo, se le pone tú, ¿verdad? Mm, where? En presente simple, y ahora cómo es en el en simple, esto? se le pone el did, ¿verdad? Así sería. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Con, el, con el presente simple es do. Correcto. Cuando es primera persona, segunda o plural. Okay. Ajá. Do I, do you, do we, do they. En tercera persona ya es das. Das he, das she, das it, o das uh, Roxana, por ejemplo. En este, en este caso, en pasado, solo se usa did para todos. Aquí no se va a andar cambiando nada, solamente did. Y el verbo en forma base. Ah, ok, muy bien. Gracias. Yes. All right. Good. Nubia. Cuando se hacen oraciones largas, como la de I played a soccer yesterday, Ajá. El, el verbo se va a poner en pasado. Es correcto. ¿Por qué se va a poner en pasado? Porque es una oración afirmativa. ¿Ok? That is an affirmative sentence. ¿Y qué pasa cuando es una oración afirmativa? No llevamos auxiliar. ¿Ok? Y usted puede decir, ah, pero teacher, ahí lleva el yes, I did. Did es un auxiliar. Sí, pero termina hasta la coma. De la coma en adelante ya es otra oración. Ok, that's a, a new sentence. Entonces, por lo tanto, ahí ya no llevamos did. El verbo tiene que hacer la función de pasado. Yes, that's the way. All right, any other question? No? Okay, good. No more questions. Let's do something. Uh, I got in here a short conversation. Ah, yeah, this thing will happen to this. Eliminate. Okay, what are we going to do with this? Tenemos esta pequeña conversación en el manual. All right, in the manual. This is the conversation. I think it's in page 20, 20 or something. What are we going to do with this conversation? Vamos a practicar el uso de preguntas usando DIV, ok? Y respuestas u oraciones afirmativas usando verbos en pasado. What are we going to do? We're going to practice this short conversation. Vamos a practicar por un corto tiempo esta conversación y luego nos vamos a ir a hacer una serie de ejercicios que tenemos en el manual. That's pretty much what we're going to do. So this is a conversation between Luis and Janet. And I'm going to read this conversation for you all people. 
it says, Luis, listen. Did you enjoy the seminar? Listen. Did you enjoy the seminar? And Janet says, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. It says, Luis, tell me more. Tell me more. And it says, Janet, I updated, I updated my networking skills. My networking skills. I learned, I learned to move from small to small talk. I learned to move from small to smart talk. It says, Luis, great, great. So, did you make new contacts? Did you make new contacts? And it says, Janet, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I exchanged. La pronunciación acá no es exchange. Es exchanged con T al final. Exchanged. Business cards. Business cards with 10 people. With 10 people. And it says, Luis. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. All right. Now I'm going to read it like faster. Ahora la voy a leer. Okay. De modo normal. It says, Luis, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Ah, tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. There you go. From that paragraph that you got over there, do you have any question? Or any word that you do not understand? Tenemos alguna palabra acá de la conversación o algo eh, que no que no esté todo claro. Teacher, uh, awesome. Awesome. Increíble. O es una expresión para decir ah. Qué bien. Increíble. Yes. Gracias. Any other word? Networking. Networking, that means it's related to redes. It's related to computers. Right, Eric? Right, teacher. Yes. Lo que no entiendo es lo siguiente. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. All right, it says, uh, la, da, 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 da. I updated my networking skills. Ah, mejoré o actualicé mis habilidades en las redes. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Ah, que se movió de un grupo pequeño o de pláticas pequeñas a, like, Conversations uh, uh, I don't know what do they say about that, but it's related to the technology. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for, for, for example, uh, on forum. Exactly. All right. Okay. Or a small video conferences on, on uh, or it might be on platforms like this one, like Zoom, like any other platform. Yes. 
That one. Okay, teacher. Thank right. you. Okay. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra pregunta relacionada a la conversación o vocabulario que no comprendamos? No. Perfect. Okay, let's start. Nubia, I want you to help me out reading this conversation with Salvador, please. I want to listen to you practicing. Ahora no nos vamos a ir a small group talks uh, because we need to move on with this. I want you to uh, start practicing like in here. Do it with Salvador. Okay. So Salvador, Salvador is going to be Luis and you are going to be Janet. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking too. I learned to move from small to smart stores. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Oh, oh awesome. 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 Ah, uh, yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Nubia. Thank you, Salvador. Now, Sara and Hilmar. Sara's gonna be Janet and Hilmar Luis. Okay. Yeah. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I changed businesses, cars with 10 people. Awesome. All right. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, Hilmar, and thank you, Sara. Now, Fatima, I want you to help me out with Eric. Okay. Did yes. you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I used my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart child. Great, so did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. All right, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Roxana, help me out doing this with Rosa del Carmen. Roxana, be Luis and Rosa, Janet. Okay, teacher. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you? Did you, Roxana? Did you enjoy the seminar? Very good. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I observed my new work skills. I need, I learned to move from smart to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I changed business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, awesome. All right. Thank you, Roxana, and thank you, Rosa. All right, Ever, let's do a good job. All right. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Carla? 
No me agarraba, chucha. <risa> ok. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. Exchange business card with 10 people. Awesome. Now, okay, thank you, Ever, and thank you, Carla. Now, <laughs> Mrs. Janet with Ana Maria, la siempre feliz Ana Maria. Mm. Okay, Mrs. Janet, be Janet, <laughs> Ana Maria. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my new my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I extend business cards with 10 people. Oh, was como es esa palabra? <laughs> awesome. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Miren, Ana Qué Ma rara la pronunciación. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Miren, awesome. Ana María, esa pose de, así de, de malota que tiene. ¿Cuál de malos? Ok, good. Thank you, Ana María, and thank you, Janet. Romeo, let's help me out with Diana. Romeo, B. Luis, and Diana, Janet. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I upsided my network working skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. All right. Very good, Romeo. Thank you, Indiana. You too. Okay, now let's see who's next. Uh, William, help me out with Mrs. Rutia. William, be Luis and uh, Mrs. Rutia be Janet. Turn on your camera, Mrs. Urrutia. No. I want to see you. <laughs> no. Come on. Okay. Yes, I can. Did you... Okay, continue, William. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my working skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. I, I would some. All right. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. There awesome. you go. Okay, thank you, William, and thank you, Mrs. Uh, Urrutia. Que rebelde, mira, Mrs. Urrutia. <laughs> es que uh, hoy no está mi negrita. <laughs> ah, ah, that's why, that's why. Ahí le voy a decir cómo se portó. Hmm. <laughs> okay, all right. Jonathan and Ana Garcia. Jonathan, be Luis and uh, Ana, be Janet. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I after my new working skill, I le learned 
to move for a small to a small house. Did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchange. Exchange? No, se go. ¿Cómo? Exchange. Exchange. Business cards. Business card with 10 people. Okay, very good. Awesome. Awesome. All right. There you go. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Anna. All right. And uh, with uh, the practice of this short conversation, we have ended up what we got for, for uh, this presentation, okay? For this short presentation. Uh, so thank you for paying attention. Okay, good. What are we going to do now, right now? Ahora bien, ahora vamos a trabajar al manual for this time because we got a series of exercises that we need to cover there. I'm going to stop sharing this. And I think I got the manual in here. Oh, yes, for sure. I got the manual here. Okay, give me a second. Let's go to page 23. 